Maddie Harlan from Permaculture Magazine and I'm at the Seed Festival at Hawkwood and I am with Jojo Mater and we are going to talk about Stop Ecocide and Earth Protectors because Jojo has taken the reins of Polly Higgins' campaign and is ensuring that her legacy is well served um, from now and into the future. So tell me a little bit about how you're doing, what you're doing and where, where you're going. Well, well, as you can imagine, it's been uh, an incredible uh, time in all sorts of ways. Um, when Polly first got ill, um, we had a lot of communications from people obviously devastated and shocked, but also saying, what are we going to do without Polly? What's going to happen to the Ecoside campaign? Um, and what's actually happened has been extraordinary. Since Polly departed, there's been this incredible upsurge of enthusiasm, of people coming to us and saying, how can I help? You know, our, our very small campaign team has expanded to five times what it was. Um, we have a legal team that's mostly based in the Netherlands that is taking forward the core work, um, the legal and diplomatic work with the small islands. And that's moving forward at a really good pace as well. It's almost as if you know Polly herself has somehow expanded and is 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 kind of lending her spirit to the work continuing. Um, I mean that was underlined this week, as you may have seen in the news. Um, Extinction Rebellion named one of their five boats after Polly Higgins, the one that was outside the Royal Courts of Justice in London, and really started bringing attention to the call for ecocide law. So. This campaign is, is really moving. It, it hasn't in any way stopped. On the contrary, it seems to have accelerated, which has been quite something to keep up with. <laughs> so it has. So for our viewers, if, if people wanted to learn more, get more involved, give, give their energy and spirit to what you're doing, what are, what are the obvious next steps? Well, first and foremost, and I know Polly would have said this, is sign up to be an earth protector. So the Stop Ecoside campaign invites everyone to become earth protectors um, and that means to gift into a fund that Polly started to uh, directly help progress ecocide law at the International Criminal Court. Um, it's an extraordinary campaign because it's based on a document, a legal document that's been validated right across the world so that when you gift to that fund you actually become, you almost gain a sort of status as an earth protector if you like. Um, and so it'd be wonderful for you know, anyone watching this and for all of you to join um, this movement. It also has a particular value if you're an activist, for example, if you're taking peaceful, peaceful action to protect the earth, uh, because it gives you an additional legal argument in court. So let's say you may be taking part in an Extinction Rebellion protest. If you're arrested, you can use it in court to show it's primary proof that you're not acting as a criminal, you're acting as a conscientious protector. And on an international scale with the work that you're doing in the Netherlands, can you sum that up briefly? I know it's complex stuff, <laughs> yeah. but if you um, could summarise it for our absolutely. viewers, that'd be great. Well, the, the, um, the simple procedure that it takes to amend the Rome Statute, that being the key uh, international criminal law document that governs the International Criminal Court. To amend that simply requires a head of state to propose an amendment. And that's a very brave thing to do, to propose an amendment of ecocide. But we have um, been dealing with the Pacific Islands, and in particular the island of Vanuatu, who are working with us, um, with a view to potentially doing this. Um, and it's about placing the idea of an ecocide as a crime as the fifth crime in international criminal law. We already have war crimes, genocide, crimes against humanity and crimes of aggression. And Polly's mission, her life mission for the last decade of her life was to add ecocide to that list. Um, and that's what we're working on. And of course, it's a diplomatic uh, mission, if you like. So the various milestones, um, we can't always publicize those immediately. Um, but suffice it to say that things are progressing. Um, and that we, uh, some of our team recently came back from the Pacific having been at important meetings there with great success. Thank you very much Jojo, thanks for explaining both aspects of your work, it's really fascinating, we'd love to come back and hear more. You've seen it on Permaculture Media, please subscribe and then you won't miss any of our visionary, practical and inspiring short films that we make with
visionaries and practical people all over the world. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.